Tonight we are presenting The String by Michael R. McGuire. I'm Sophia Manconi. I'm from Washington, D.C., and I am directing the show tonight. I'm Michael R. McGuire. I'm the playwright, and I'm in Rhode Island. Hi, I'm Judy Lewis. I'm playing Polly Zena, and I'm in the Northern Virginia area. I'm Kiki Funches. I'm playing Brooklyn, and I'm in Washington, D.C. Hi, my name is Cameron Lee Conlon. I am playing Mikey, and I'm also in the Northern Virginia, D.C. area. Hi, I'm Lori Brooks. I'm playing Soccer Mom, also from Northern Virginia. Hi, I'm Michaela Trimpey, and I'm playing Katie, and I'm from Ohio. I'm Adam Venrick. I'm reading Stage Directions. I'm also from Ohio. Act One, a dive bar. Polizina Tens Bar. Brooklyn is excitedly mid-conversation with her. Mikey sits away from them, drinking by himself. Are you trying to kill me? No? No, I don't think so. Why not? Because, because I... Don't say because I said so. Because I said so. That's bullshit, P. No, mm -mm, no, it's... Because I said so. Final word. Come on. I'm not flexible on this. Final word. I'm not flexible on this. Say another word and you're out. What? Test me. Go on. Test you ain't gonna. You ain't gonna kick my ass out. If I can't reason with you. Reason with me? You can trust me. You can depend on me. You know that, P. Then cut the shit and let this go. How come you always in charge? Oh, you want my job? Go ahead and do it. Organize this shit. Yeah, yeah, fine, sure. Whatever, I'm cool. You good? I'm better than good. Good. You done? Drinking, you mean? Yeah. I only had one. No, I ain't done. Give me one more. Make it strong. Am I done? Fuck you, am I done? Fucking bitch. Fuck think she is. Come a day. Let me tell you, come a day. Uh, were you talking to me? Why would I be talking to you? I don't know. Where's my drink, bitch? I'm the only other person here. Fuck would I talk to you, drunkie. Mike. Oh, but uh, my friends call me Mikey. Bet they do. You got friends? Don't see no friends. Weren't they just here? Look at your drunk ass. Sober as the same to my. Whatever, drunky. Call me Mikey. Okay, Mikey. And who might you be? Brooklyn. What up? Your name is Brooklyn? Yeah. Your given name or your nickname? Name my mom gave me. At least that's what she told me. And I got no reason to think she'd be lying. Your mother named you Brooklyn. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> Fuck. I'm going to need another drink after I'm going to talk to you. Allow me. Uh, another, por favor, and uh, one for the lady. Paul is in a shrugs and makes their drinks. Oh, got that magic touch. So I've been told. Here we go. P, make that shit strong, here. Yeah? Don't you have to work later? And I can't handle my drink. Saying maybe work requires sobriety. I ain't never worked sober, not once. Bad luck. Almost certainly, says I. Jesus. Want me off the job, P? That's what you want? Say the words. Say the motherfucking words. No. What's that? No. Speak up. No, I said. Damn straight. Give me that drink. Polizina serves them. Run along. Go do whatever the fuck it is that you do. I have some uh, last minute. Uh... Yeah, whatever. Don't care. Scoop, bitch. So what's a complete piece of shit like you doing in a classy joint like this? There is something about you. I know. Oh, she knows. Maybe there's something about you too. 
Mm, yeah. Maybe. Maybe, huh? What's that you drinking there? Um, Manhattan. A Manhattan? Only because there's no drink called the Brooklyn. <laughs> yeah, whatever to that. What's in a Manhattan? Pepper Manhattan has three parts bourbon, one part sweet vermouth, a dash of bitters finished with a cherry. Don't know what the fuck is in this. It tastes like tap, like paint thinner. Palazina ain't much of a bartender. I don't know. I'd say this place is kind of perfect. Sounds like an old man drink to me. Well, I'm 37. Damn, you're old as fuck. I don't know if you would say I was old. Yeah. Now I get up close, I can see it. All sagging and wrinkly. <laughs> Bet your balls hanging down past your knees. Jesus, I'm not that bad. I've never fucked no old guy before. Oh, is, is that what we're talking about? What the fuck else we gonna be talking about? Philosophy? Good. Bet you could too. You read Nietzsche? Huh? Little shopping hire? <laughs> Do you? Fuck no. My philosophy is simple. Get all the fucking done, cause tomorrow ain't guaranteed. I I should go. Why? You're uh you're too young for me. Been around though. I'm sorry. You chicken out? Well, yeah, maybe. Uh, I'm I'm just I'm just. Ah, oh, fuck you, Mikey. Sorry. Okay, I decided. You're cute. Okay. You're cute, and we don't gotta fuck right away or nothing. Sit your old wrinkly ass back down. <laughs> I got a word with words, don't I, huh, Mikey? You certainly do. Tell me about you. Mm, me? Never seen you around here before. Never been around here before. So how come tonight? I, I don't want to talk about me. No, come on. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about you. You got to tell me something. Why? I don't like a man's got something to hide. You got something to hide? No. You got something to hide, Mikey? I, I No, I just don't like talking about myself, that's all. Mikey, mm -hmm. I like you. Mm -hmm. I do, but you gotta tell me something about you, something personal, or I'm gonna cut your fucking heart out. My wife. I see the tan line on your ring finger. I ain't stupid. She left me. Keep talking. She took the kids. Fucking kids. How that shit goes? It's been five weeks and I, I miss her. I miss her so fucking much. Okay, okay, that's enough. I'm bored now. No more of your fucking sob story. You really know how to kill my lady boner. You know that? You still sitting there looking stupid? Damn. There's something. Yeah, I know. Something might make me forget my troubles. Good thing I'm so fucking adorable. Good thing. Can't decide you want to kiss me or kill me. I don't know which would be more dangerous. Maybe you're smarter than you look. So, which is it? Kiss me or? Mikey kisses Brooklyn hard. Whoa, balls on you, man. Not bad. OK. Look, I'll be right back, OK? Don't run off. You hit the jackpot tonight. Trust. I got to go take a wicked ass piss. Okay. You're thinking about it, ain't you, my pussy? Mm, no. You suck at lying. I, uh... You just sit there. Think about it. Think about me peeing. Maybe get us two more drinks with your magic touch. Toodles. Ready to settle up? Um... I'll total your tab. No, two more, please. She's no good, you know. Mm, I know. And you don't care? Not tonight, I don't. You don't know what you're getting yourself into. Doesn't matter. I ought to cut you off and kick you right out. No, have a heart. You don't belong here. Maybe I don't belong anywhere. Your funeral. Palazina begins making the drinks. Enter Soccer Mom and Katie. They claim a table. Soccer Mom hangs her purse 
on the back of a chair and they start to settle in. Palazina spots them. Soccer mom! Soccer mom runs over. They embrace. Hello, Polly. How in the heck are you? Ah, uh, you know. Don't I just? Who's the tits? A friend. Like? A friend friend? A special friend. She's cute. Isn't she just? Fresh out of the box. Mint condition. Is Brooklyn here yet? Can't you tell by the cheap perfume and the lines on my face? <laughs> oh, Marvy. Pull any usual shit, too. Who's the Joe? I don't know yet. Uh, is he, uh... Like I said, yet to be determined. Wait here. Polyzina delivers the drinks to Mikey. Thank you. On your tap. Mike. Mm. Buy them around too. Why? You only got one dick. Maybe I'm a nice guy. Thank God help you. Polyzina goes back to Sar. Schmuck wants to buy you both a drink. Well, isn't that lovely? Uh, Pinot Grigio for me. And her? Soda pop. Oh, isn't that precious? Better muff tastes like cotton candy. <gasps> Better. You're killing me. You understand she can't stay here until we're working, right? Don't worry, it's past her bedtime. I wanted you to meet her, that's all. Hi there. Mikey's. Mm, nope. I was wondering if... Uh, no. Nope. Mikey sidles. Let's hash out some last minute shit. Here? In back. Well, not just yet, okay? We've been driving 14 hours. We just checked in, freshened up, had a quick meal. Where at? Uh, all night diner. Now, I'd like to enjoy a glass for a bit before I start thinking too hard. Acceptable. Perfectly. Introduce me to your friend. Uh, Katie, dear. Hello. This is Katie. Katie, my old friend, Polly Zena. Pleasure to meet you. I know pa Polly Zena is a mouthful. You can call me Polly. Cut the ma'am shit, okay? Uh, go sit down now, Katie. Obedient little puppy. And paper trained. Cheers. So, house tricks? Mm, slow. I'm slow all around these Ugh, days. Don't I know it. You must still be flush from our last go around? You'd think. No. Let's just say I've lived a wee bit past my means. Little Miss Candy Twat? Oh, no, no, no. She's been my little good luck charm. Pulled some mother-daughter routines with her down south. Lucrative. She's very good, but you know how that is. Nickel and dime. She's one of us. One of the best I've worked with. She doesn't look like she's got a brain and a pretty head. Exactly. Huh. Tell me, truthfully, you didn't blab to her about our deal. How long have you known me? Long time. I told her I had a commitment back east. I'm sure she's figured out it's a job, but she didn't ask for details. Hey, asshole, sit down, will you? Huh? You heard me, park your butt. You can't talk to me like that. Oh, can't I? I'm a paying customer. Talk a mom! Brooklyn, sweetie! Oh my hey, God! Hug. Look at you. Look at you, all wholesome, like a slice of white bread. Oh, and you are just gorgeous. Hey, so how's the husband and kids? Still dead, thanks for asking. That never gets old. <laughs> no, seriously, good to see you, really. You know, I love me some soccer mom. Likewise, sweetie. Be good, Brooklyn. Fuck my left titty, boss lady. Hey, baby, you miss me. We're gone a while. You did miss me. I thought maybe you snuck out. If you must know, I had to do a crap. Mm -hmm. Happy now? 
Um, Squeezing one out, had to push real hard too. I think I burst a blood vessel in my eye. My asshole is stressed out. So as fuck. Don't worry, still gonna let you fuck it. Jesus. Still sitting there, ain't you? Huh, Mikey? You like that nasty shit. Admit it. Where's my drink? Right here. Cool beans. Be right back. Don't don't go. Gotta catch up with some old friends. Right over there. You chill the fuck out here where, where you at, okay? Mm. Brooklyn takes her drink and rejoins Polizina and soccer mom. So who's this stiff? Him? Nobody. Who's the schoolgirl? Soccer mom's new partner. Partner? Bullshit! No! You didn't let me bring no partner. Well, she didn't ask to bring her partner in, okay? What's she doing here then? It, we're traveling together. But why bring her in here? I wanted Polly to meet her. Entirely social, perfectly innocent. Get rid of her. Um, after I finish my drink, and after I finish my drink, she's gone. How about him? You squeeze him, does he oink? Nah. You sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Sure, sure. Yes, okay, fuck. Really? Cause I think I smell bacon. Oh, no, 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 no. You ain't even questioned my judgment. Oh, no, no. This affects me. You really gonna question my professional acumen? Oh, no, no, sweetie. You're taking it wrong, that's all. I just want to peek behind the curtain. My meat curtains, maybe. Charming. Look, Giddy, give me a little bit of insight into your thought process. Show me your expertise in action. Okay, fine. You want to know? Fine. This asshole, this fucking dumbass, nobody shows up out of nowhere tonight of all nights. Dress wrong, acts wrong, all my alarms go off. As well they should. You think of what I was thinking? This motherfucker's a fucking pig. Whole deal is blown. We're fucked. Not to mention Polizina's little shithole hole in the wall is now compromised. Shithole is a bit. So I turn up the gas. Get this motherfucker talking. Get this motherfucker drinking. Get his dick off. Yeah, standard operating procedure. This fucker real cagey. Wants to talk about me. Wants to fuck me, no doubt. But I can't get him to talk about himself. And you know as well as me, there's nothing a man likes talking about more as much as himself. Ugh, ain't that the truth. Big old red flag. Mm. Pig in a blanket, so... Now, y'all may not know this, but when I was 17, I used to shack up with this one of these undercover motherfuckers. You? I was young, dumb, and stupid. He sucked donkey dick. Eric, undercover bitch, actually told me he was 5'0", but it didn't matter because everybody already knew that shit. Fed him nothing but bullshit and had a big old laugh about it, too. Time came, I iced his ass. Too bad, too. He was a good fuck if nothing else. But back to my story. Please. Turns out they give these guys a cover story. Something to say if they ever end up in a situation they got to talk about themselves. This cop I was shacked up was actually practicing his cover story with me. Even told me some of the other guys' cover stories he heard. I mean, this cop was dumb with a capital stupid. You know, I thought all cops were stupid, but... Well, I was in love with his dumb ass. But I loved him with all I love is dick. And macho as hell, too. They all got these manly, man, bullshit cover stories, you know? I saved a family from a burning building. His was, I won a medal for valor in Afghanistan. Killed a bunch of dotheads while serving my platoon. So he's pretending to be a criminal and talking about being a soldier? Right. They always use the story straight out of Rambo and why they went bad. A point to your story would be nice. This chump down the end of the bar, I squeeze him to talk. He starts babbling this sad shit, pussy ass story about his wife don't love him no more. She's leaving and talking about the kids and why, why, fucking why. Get me? No real cop gonna talk a fake story like that. Makes him look like a little faggot. This poor, simple-minded motherfucker, he's the real deal. 
So what's he doing here? Down on his luck, nobody drowning his sorrows in a place that is sad as he feels, I guess. So get rid of him. Nah, think I'm gonna fuck him. What? Why? Cause I ain't a goddamn rug munching like you bitches. I need me some dick. Get laid on your own time. We got business. Time comes for business. My ass is ready. Meantime, pour me a lover boy two more. Pronto! Aren't you concerned he'll be too drunk to perform? Once gave a hard on to a dead man. Delightful. Listen, listen to me carefully. I am still the boss around here. Are you? Yes, I damn well am. Well, okay then, go do boss stuff and shit. And I am tired of the drinking and the fucking and the goddamn disrespect. You want to work with me, I expect a certain level of professionalism. <laughs> oh, you killed me, P. Brooklyn goes back to sit with Mikey. They huddle together quietly. You shouldn't tolerate that, Polly Z. Don't start. She's getting worse. Time comes to go to work, she always comes around. Deep down, she's a pro. How deep? How many jobs we all pulled together? Quite a few. You want out? Is that it? I pick the string. I do. Me. I know that. And I say Brooklyn's in. Do you have a problem with that? Because if you do, then walk and take little Miss Muffet with you. I've never treated you with anything except respect. I wonder. And I don't like the way that she treats you. Like three flavors of shit. I care about you. Let me worry about me. I can take it. Let her talk. She's good at it. And know what else she's good at? Her job. A specialist like her? Somebody you can trust chips her down? Not easy to come by. So let her get under my skin. Let her screw some dumb mock. Let her drink herself into an early grave. Fuck it. Time comes. Brooklyn always comes through. Uh -huh. I don't want to end up on the inside because of- somebody. Nobody does. Not because, um, some, some- Are some... you tip-top? Oh, I'm solid. This job doesn't happen without Brooklyn, and that's the long and the short of it. Exit Brooklyn and Mikey, arm in arm. That poor Joker. He's not a cop? You heard Brooklyn's reasoning, and it's sound. I mean, I heard it, but do I buy it? I mean, do you? Sure. Come on. What? Think about it. I think about a whole lot of things, which is why I'm still in the game. If he's a cop, the whole job's kaput. We close up shop and go home. Hey, no need to be hasty. I mean, what's he got at this point? If he's a goddamn cop, it's hello, good night, see you down the road. We should be cautious, certainly. What has he got? Faces, names, this place, the hotel, assuming Brooklyn takes him there, and that's exactly what I'm assuming she'll do. But no crime, as of yet. All I'm saying, and, and forgive me for belaboring, the point is that maybe we ought to perform our own due diligence. Brooklyn's on it. Brooklyn, who's three sheets. She's solid, God damn it! I don't like new people hanging around right before a job. You're making my head hurt, soccer mom. <sighs> it, it was a long drive. And her with only her learner's permit? Oh, she drives. Heck, speaking of new people hanging around before a job. I, I vouch for her. And Brooklyn vouches for shit for brains. Done and done. No, we're taking risks that we really We're taking don't... risks? Well, who knew? We're taking risks. Listen, soccer mom, I'm getting pretty darn sick of discussing this. You lost your appetite for risks? Walk. Go get yourself a nice little job and a nice little office. That's not what I was trying sit to do. Sit down at your little desk and eat jelly donuts and get fat and do what the man in charge tells you to do. You know I can't do that. I do know that. So get your head together. I don't like where you're at right now. I... Let me pour you another. Half. Brooklyn solid. You're solid. And I'm con fucking Crete. Yes, yes, nerves. 
All your phantom cop is doing is acquiring one of Brooklyn's cornucopia of exotic venereal ailments. Boy's dick's gonna turn green and fall off. Oh, vivid. Polizina pours her some more wine. She drinks. Oh, well, fuck a doodle do. Probably means nothing. Another fine woman. We're closed. At this early hour? Daylight savings. Huh? Plus, it's a Jewish holiday. Which one? Fuck if I know. I'm not Jewish. Oh, come on. Come on what? Come on, please. I'll serve you one. One. Then you hit the bricks. Agreed? Gracias. Same? Same, only better. Say, where's the broad? Broad. The broad you left with? Oh, I was hoping she'd be back here. You don't know? We got separated. How did that happen? I damned if I know one minute we're arm in arm the next. This is turning into one hell of a night. Yeah, tell mama all your troubles. Are you married? Not in a legal sense. I was married. Uh-huh. I did all that was expected of me. I was a good husband. Oh? Jesus, I'm boring you too. I'm riveted. You know, last time I was in a bar like this? About 10 minutes ago? Huh? Nothing. Keep yapping. Is monogamy the natural state of being? I, I ask you, truly. Cheated on her, did you? Hmm. I mean, no, 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 no. I, I, was, I was faithful. 12, 12 fucking years I was faithful. And there were opportunities. Opportunities of plenty. Let, let me tell you, but did I act upon them? No, not me. Good old faithful class Mike. What do you want, a prize? A wedding and a honeymoon and then the starter apartment and then she gets pregnant with the first kid and then the promotion and then you buy the house in the suburbs and she gets pregnant again and this time it's the second kid but it's the girl that she wanted so you get the promotion so you get the bigger house for the more fashionable neighborhood the nicer cars under the private fucking schools. Back to me a resume, why don't you? Huh? <sighs> Nothing. You were saying. Uh, perfect. Albeit boringly. Vacations. Disney, France, Little League, the PT fucking A. You're killing me. I'm getting... I'm getting to the good part, and it's even a fucking cliche. I come home early and walk into my bedroom, and what do I find? Wife getting plowed by another guy. Bingo was his name. Oh. Shit. Her co-worker. Ted. Fucking Ted. I thought it was bingo. Then it's lawyers and papers and Rick Hath. Rick... <clears throat> recriminations those are the worst <laughs> bullshit it's all f bullshit and more bullshit and bullshit piled on top of bullshit and her father oh oh my erstwhile father-in-law who dotes on his little baby girl fucking lawyer what the hell was i thinking anyway long story short oh we'll wait uh, that. <laughs> she got the house she got the kids she got the money and the 401k and my life and she got ted huh I feel for you. I really do. So now I want to go out, have myself a drink or two, maybe meet a nice lady. So who's to say me nay? Not hmm. a damn soul. Sorry. Not at all. You make a hell of a Tom Collins. Well, that's a Manhattan, but sure. Oh. You're a good woman. My name's Mike. I mean, Mikey. I'm Mikey now. Uh-huh. So do bartenders just listen, or, or, or do you occasionally offer advice? You're a grown man, Mikey. Time to figure things out on your own. I already did everything right, and I still came out shit. Well, happens that way sometimes. Should have killed them both. Mm -hmm. Then and there, crime of passion. Juries can be very understanding when the circumstances are right. Say, so, you ever considered a career in law enforcement? Huh? You know, become a cop. Me? Real straight arrow like you. A square shooter. Virtuous. <laughs> upright. A good guy. I, I'm an insurance salesman. Oh, sure, sure. Sure. What was I thinking? There's no way in a million years a guy like you could be a cop. Well, well, well I don't know. Maybe. You think? Nope. 
no way, Jose. Finish up and get the fuck out of my bar. <laughs> I don't see what's so funny about that. Alizina walks away from him to soccer mom's table. Satisfied? Oh, 110%. How about you, honeydew? What are we talking about? Don't play dumb here. Exit Polizina. Soccer mom and Katie sit there. Mikey sits where he is drinking. He notices them again as though for the first time and he sidles over to them. Uh, we already did this. You look so familiar. One of those faces, I guess. Now, walk away. Mikey goes back to his bar stool. Everybody sits and drinks. After a bit, Katie looks over at Mikey and studies him. Finally, she gets soccer mom's attention. Let's run him. Him? Let's run him. Him. Yeah. Him? Yes. Uh, why? Why not? What's the point? Aren't you bored? Uh, I, I'm not bored. Are you bored? Could be fun. <laughs> Listen, sweetie. Let's run him. <laughs> what could he possibly have? Let's find out. We shouldn't run here. Why not? We're Polly Zena's guests here. And she's your boss? Uh, she's the proprietor. She's your boss. I'm my own boss, but it's her job. Sounds like a boss to me. Meantime, let's run him. Well, I don't know if it'll keep you from being bored. You want me to be happy, don't you? Take the lead. Hi. Hello. Uh, hi. What's your name? Michael. Uh, Mike. Uh, uh, I mean, I mean, Mikey. You're cute. <laughs> Enter Brooklyn, stumbling. She spots Katie near my... What the fuck you doing? Nothing. I asked you a question. Where? I'm just sitting here. Where'd you go? Where'd I go? Fuck you go. I lost you. I came back here. For this piece of jailbait ass? No, to find you. I told you to wait outside. Oh, you did? I told you to park your ass and wait. Fuck you think you're going? Over there. Uh, Brooklyn, you're drunk. Mind your business, soccer mom. Brooklyn? You sit your ass back down. I said sit your ass back down. Now. Uh, you're making a scene. Look at this little schoolgirl. Innocent, nerdy glasses, bullshit. I see you, girl. I see you. I wasn't doing anything. Yes, you was. No, I. You running a number on my man? No. Uh, yes. We've had a misunderstanding. Pray that shit for the marks. Give me your glasses. Uh, hey! I need those. Shit. These ain't even prescription. <sighs> Brooklyn. Hey, Mikey. I look cute in these glasses. Makes you want to fuck me. Oh, well, maybe not want to fuck you. Hey, Katie, hmm? how about I rip all that pretty hair out of your head? Fistful by fistful, huh? How many numbers you think you'll be running then? Brooklyn, that's enough. Say it's enough when it's enough. That young lady is my guest. You want to go, little girl? I see it in your eyes. You want to go? See, you can take me. May I have my glasses back? What's the magic word? Please. Oh, that just killed you, huh? She said, please. She's sorry, okay? She's very sorry. No, she ain't. This ain't over, is it? Katie. Come at me, see what happens. Katie, come sit by me, sweetie. A tense moment. Katie turns to go. Brooklyn kicks her in the butt, causing her to stumble, but not fall. Katie recovers and sits next to soccer. 
What you gonna do, schoolgirl? I don't want this shit in my bar. What you gonna do? Katie, sweetie. Thought so. They wanna fight anyway. Just got my nails done. Brooklyn, may I speak to you privately? Nah, fuck this noise. This is me, bitches. Game on. Buy me a drink. Or before? No. <clears throat> Mikey tosses some money on the bar. Put that shit away, Mikey. No one of these bitches wanna kill, run and run you. What? I know y'all straight as an arrow, but y'all blind too. Can we get some service here? It is illegal to serve an intoxicated person. Listen to this shit. And both of you are highly intoxicated. Maybe she's right. We don't need this joint. No, we don't. Let's get out of here, Mikey. Are you going to ditch me again? I didn't ditch you. You got confused and wandered off. Dumbass. Well, is that what happened? We have to work three hours, three hours, and we have to work. Look at him. This chump won't last five minutes. Huh? You are just his pants when he saw my fine ass. Brooklyn. Why are you still chirping at me? Are you coming back or not? Do you want me to come back? A job don't happen without you. Ain't what I asked. Yes. Speak up, little bird. I couldn't hear you chirping it for once. Yes, please come back on time and ready to work. That's all you had to say, Pete. Okay, then. How about you, soccer mom? What about me, Brooklyn? You want me to come back? <sighs> soccer mom don't get a vote. I run this string. Just curious. I don't want to be here where I'm not wanted. I want you. Shut the fuck up, Mikey. This shit don't concern you. Get on out of here. Get laid. Come back in a better mood and with your head on straight. I ain't heard from soccer mom yet. What's up? You want me to come back? How come you ain't answering? You don't love me no more? Tell her you wanted to come back for fuck's sake. Of course I do. I'm terribly sorry. It was such a long drive and I am all out of sorts. Forgive me, please. Forgive you, baby. Soccer mom in Brooklyn hug. Wishes with me fucking you tonight, don't you? Oh, Brooklyn, you're such a card. A real joker. Okay, we've all kissed and made up. Back on time, ready to work. That's what you don't get. I'm always working. Have fun, you two. Go. Better not get whiskey, Dick, or I'm going to cut it off. They head to oh, the door. Almost forgot. I got you cunts a present. Brooklyn tosses an eight ball on the table. Talk up, bitches. You worried about me? I'm worried about you. Get nice and stoked, and let's do this shit and get that paper. Is that cocaine? Oh, and uh, one more thing. This bitch here, when I get back, I'm going to stab her. I don't know her. I don't trust her. And I don't fucking like her. She's a... She's a pro. I see that. Get her ass gone. Go check the door. Make sure she's not about to mosey back in. <sighs> she's worse. She's she's worse, Polly. Yeah. They all gather at the table and look at the eight ball. Well, fuck. Polizina goes to the bar and retrieves a razor blade and some straws. They go to work, cutting the coke into lines. May I? Isn't it past your bedtime? <laughs> I mean, this brightens my whole day. Ooh, where'd she score good stuff in this neighborhood? Well, she's resourceful. Yet another reason we tolerate her idiosyncrasies. Polizina and soccer mom snort coke. I'd like some. Oh, Jesus, fuck. Pam, damn, damn. Excuse me? You need to beat feet. I am not jeopardizing a lucrative operation. I don't care how perky your tits are. Hey. Hey, listen, maybe, maybe we don't need Brooklyn for this job. 
How's that? Maybe, maybe we don't. Of course we do. And what if we didn't? The entire job is predicated on- Yes, but what if somebody else? Somebody else. Somebody else. Her? Maybe. They snort coke. Oh, oh, my heart. Jesus. Oh, fuck me. May I? Tell your girl to take five. Uh, one quick toot. Then let us talk. Katie snorts a line and then leaves the table. I mean, Jesus, fuck, are you serious? I am. I don't know her. I vouch. Oh, you vouch? I vouch. You're pussy drunk is what you are. I am not. Not that I, you know, blame you. She's good, Polly Z. I'll bet. I'm talking about the job. Hey, sweet tits, lock that door. Katie locks the door. I respect you, soccer mom. You got dealt a bad hand. You made something of yourself. You always got your head on straight, but this organization ain't hiring at the moment. Polly. I'm not saying no. I'm just saying not right now. A last minute substitute on a sensitive job like this? Not a chance. I've, I've got a few low key jobs in the works. I'll give her a shot, a chance to prove herself. You don't understand. We've done work together before. Look, give her a chance on this job. Penny empty shit won't cut it with somebody with her skills. I told you what I'm willing to do. Makes you feel better. I'll give her an impromptu interview right now. Good enough? Hey, sweetheart, sashay over this way, will ya? Cop a squat. No, wait, over at the bar, away from all this blow. Me with a heart condition. What am I thinking? <sighs> More for me. That's enough. How is he in? That's enough nose candy for you, too. Yes, ma'am. A very nice establishment you have here. I don't need you to blow smoke up my ass, kid. It's a dump. I know it. You know it. Soccer mom says you're looking for work? Yes, ma'am. And you're aware of the nature of the work that we do? Yes, ma'am. Cut the ma'am shit. In fact, cut the little girl act altogether. Okay. Tell me about you. Ma'am. What did I just say? Habit. Sorry. Been in the game long? A while. Don't be coy. How long? My whole life. And how come you're not with a crew? I was. You leave or did they show you the boot? Truth. They're all dead. Well, shit. Hey, what did I say? Take it easy with the nose, Candy Saka Mom. Okay, okay. This unfortunate turn of events that happened on the job? Yes. Their fault? Yours? Don't lie to me. I guess it was a case of shit happens. Yeah, you seem real broke up about it. All right, well, I get it. Our business, shit happens is a good way to put it. Sometimes, the unforeseen, that's why I take pains. She said you were professional, consummate. That's why I'm interested. How old are you anyways? Does it matter? You got any particular skills? I specialize in the technical end, electronics, mechanics, plumbing if needed. I know how to talk to if needed. She does it all, one-stop shopping. Cagey, ain't you? But then nobody needs a blabbermouth. Who taught you these skills? My daddy. Your daddy a pro? Was. What happened to him? He died. Condolences. How? Natural causes. How natural? He touched me, so naturally I killed him. Ooh, I'm starting to like you. You take a fall for it? Nope. Nope. Like I said, natural causes. Now you're scaring me a little. You take a fall for anything? Ever? Any paper on you? 
I've been fortunate. Well, that's a strike against. I like to know how a body handles the prospect of time. I spent a little time in a group home after my poor dear daddy passed. I don't do well in institutional settings. But you kept your yap shut? Obviously. Good. I'd uh, per prefer to start immediately if I could. That won't be possible. Did I say something wrong? I like you, plus she vouches for you, but you don't get put on first string right away. Soccer mom, did I put you on first string right away? I was green, she's not. I'll line up a job, a month, a week or two, something small, see how it goes and we'll take it from there. This is something big. What is? This, whatever's going down tonight. Nothing is happening tonight. Are we clear? I want in. No. Tonight. How old are you? Old enough. Patience. We need a score, Polly. I'm handling this. We need a big score. No more nickel and dime. Share your score with their if that tickles you right. That's not enough. What she means to say is... I heard what she said. Now hear what I say. This is my job. This is my string. I make the decisions. Are we clear? How many blocks to the bus stop? No, no. It's been lovely, but I have to skedaddle. Oh, stay. I can't. W wait, a few weeks, like Polly Z says. I said weeks and months. Uh, just wait. Can't. You know I can't. Wait until after tonight. Are you joking? Please? Are you- <laughs> I'll make it worth your while. Don't think I'm not tempted. This crew has potential. Potential? Fuck you, potential. Proven and tested. I don't know how else to say this. If you go out tonight with that woman. Brooklyn? has a track record. If this Brooklyn is a part of your string in her current state. Yeah, well, <laughs> my crew isn't all dead. You will be, dead or on ice. If not tonight, soon. You've got a broken cog, a weak link, and you're ignoring it, applying oil long after you should have replaced it. And when it snaps, and it will snap, the whole machine goes down with it. Is that what happened to your crew? Yes, it is. I got lucky. Brooklyn, she's, she's. <sighs> she's broken. You know it. Jesus. Where did you find her? I didn't. She found me. <sighs> Fuck. Brooklyn will not be happy. No. She better be as good as you say. She's better. Well, hell. Come aboard, I guess. My pleasure, ma'am. I'll head over and I'll break the bad news. Need company? Probably best, United Front and all. Brooklyn doesn't take bad news well. I'll leave a door open in case she gets herself cleaned up. Maybe her post colloidal bliss will soften the blow. You think Brooklyn is just going to walk away? I don't like where your head is going right now. Me and Brooklyn work together a long time. I owe her a chance to walk away quiet. Do we? That room leads back to me. No bloodshed. Not unless. You hear? Heard. Not unless. Since when are you strapped? Hmm. Since the day I needed to be and wasn't. How about you, Glee Club? Are you packing? Mommy takes care of that. Say, what about the schmuck? Ugh. Ugh. He's the least of my worries. You stay here. Turn the closed sign and lock the door. Exit Polyzina and soccer mom. Katie locks the door. She turns the sign around. Katie goes to the table and does a line of coke. She sits back down and pulls out her phone. Lights out. All right, this is act two, a cheap seedy hotel room. Mikey and Brooklyn are both in stages of undress. Mikey passes Brooklyn a crack pipe. She smokes. Ooh. 
I never thought I'd enjoy smoking crack. It's dope, <laughs> right? <laughs> the things I've missed in my life. Well, look, Mikey, look at you. You do this? <laughs> I mean, like, all the time? <laughs> I'm like a fucking crackhead to you. Well, <laughs> yeah, kind of. <laughs> I mean, I've never met a crackhead before, but I think if I ever imagined what a crackhead would look like, uh, I guess she'd look like you. <laughs> You're so cute. Fucking adorable. And honest. I like honest. Sorry, must be the crack. No, oh, Mikey, you're a good guy. I can tell. Uh, I don't know. Chill. Um, What's on your mind, Mikey, my boy? Hey, I, I, I'm I, sorry about, you know. Um, no, I don't know. You got to say it. You don't know. Well, it, you know. Use your words. I, I'm sorry. I didn't last long in bed. You're just like crack. Intensely pleasurable for a short period of time. Intensely pleasurable? No, I'm being nice. Your dick too small and you don't make me come or nothing. Oh. Don't feel bad. I like big dicks. Big old porno cocks. Hard to find on the regular. That must be... We can go um, another. We can go another in a few minutes. You're ready. We got time still. Hey, hey look, I, I, um, I, I could, I could like, you know, go, go down, on you. You know how? Yes. Don't get offensive. Just asking is all. I, yeah, yes, 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 yes. Well, good. My, my, my wife always had an excuse. Oh boy. <clears throat> Here comes that sash sack shit again. You know, it was always, I'm not ready and not now when I don't feel clean. And you know what? She, she, she wouldn't let me do it unless she was right up the fucking fresh ass shower. I didn't care. I don't care. I don't mind. Y'all gonna love me then. I ain't never watched that shit. Never. Look at you getting all excited. Dirty motherfucker. You like that? Maybe. Bet you do too. Keep talking. Had this one guy, Anthony, let me fuck around on him. Liked it. He became this real pussy connoisseur. Guy so he could tell who I've been with the taste of the spunk in my cooch. Yikes. Relax. Ain't nobody up there but, you know, on account of I'm coming off a dry spell. You? No dick to be had where I was. I'll bet they'll find you. Usually. But hey, keep a secret. Okay. Promise. Mm hmm Honest engine. That's offensive, yo. I can keep a secret. So I did a short stretch, no biggie. Huh? In the can. You like it in the can? I'm not talking about butt stuff, Mikey. I'm telling you I was briefly incarcerated. Oh. Bullshit route. I didn't do nothing. You were in prison. That's the lack of dick. Unless you count the COs and I don't. Them rapist bastards will let me blow them because they don't leave no evidence and don't tell, make no telltale babies. But my cooch been unoccupied way too long. COs? Like, like you mean? Prison guard, correction mm. officer. Okay. They aren't allowed to, <laughs> with, with, right? You, no shit, Mikey. At least I got, protein in my diet right Ew. now. Listen, though, don't tell them bitches, OK? They don't need to know about this shit. The other ladies at the bar. Ladies? You're all you're all friends. I mean, they're, they're your friends? We're business associates. Listen, Mikey, I don't want to talk about them. We got limited time here, and I want to get off before I toss your punk ass out of here. Can we focus? Oh, OK, sure. You feeling adventurous, Mikey? Lay your ass down on the bed. I want to sit on that cute face of yours, rub my nasties all over it. That's okay with you, Mikey? Yes. Oh, yes. Brooklyn produces a pair of handcuffs from her bag. The fuck did you get those? Off a cop. A cop gave you his handcuffs? You're so cute, Mikey. Handcuff yourself to the bed. Me? 
right hand above your head, thread it through the headboards, and then the other hand. How these beds look sturdy enough. They used to be in a state mental hospital before they closed that shit down. You used to strap the loonies down on them and let them shriek all night. Palatina got them cheap after they shut the place down. See, but I, I, I thought you'd wear the handcuffs. Do I look like the bitch in this relationship? I, I just thought. I just got out of the joint a couple of days ago. Think I'll find wearing a handcuffs a turn on right about now? I guess not. Thank you so much, Mikey. Let's have some fun. I, uh, I'm just wondering. What, baby? If I put these handcuffs on, you're not just gonna rob me and leave me here, are you? If I was going to do that, would I let you fuck me first? Um. Think about it. I, I just. How much money you had? Um. Tell me. A little. A Some? lot. Yeah. Give it to me. What? Give me all your money. Are you robbing me? No, I'm asking you to give me all your cash on you of your free will. Call it a gift. Why? One, I would greatly appreciate it. Two, you wouldn't worry I'm going to rob you if you ain't got nothing left to rob. Come on, Mikey. No matter how much money you got on you, you got more in the bank and shit, right? Stock, bonds. Our fucking A. You're giving me your cash is what? An inconvenience? Give it to me. Mikey takes the money out of his billfold. Count it. Mikey counts it. How much? Uh, $792. Give it to me. Mikey hands her the money and she puts it in her bag. Put on the handcuff, dumbass. Okay. Mikey handcuffs himself to the bed. Brooklyn stops smiling. She picks up his pants and takes out his wallet. Oh shit, you are robbing me! No, baby, don't you worry. Please, please don't go through my wallet. She goes through his wallet. She finds his driver's license. Michael Peter James, date of birth 4377. Do you live in Brownsville? <laughs> oh, an organ donor. Ain't that civic minded of you? She tosses it on the floor. I, there's, there's nothing interesting in there. Visa, Visa, MasterCard, American Express. They're all maxed oh. out. They won't do you any good. She tosses them on the floor. Listen, listen do, do, don't you want to have some fun? I am having fun, baby. Powerhouse gym membership. I she like tosses to stay, it. I like to stay in shape. Uh-huh. I do. What's this? That, that, that's a customer loyalty card for the coffee shop. I, I, I go to Caffeine Dreams. If I get five stamps, I get a free cup of coffee. Seems like a lot of trouble for a damn cup of coffee. She tosses it. Brownville Public Library. Blue Cross Blue Shield. Social Security card. I need that. Why? It's a, it, is this identity theft? Who the fuck want to be you? <laughs> These your kids? Yes. What's wrong with him? What? Nothing. Your wife lived near a chemical plant while she was pregnant? Damn. These are some fugly little shit. Tosses them. That's, this is, that's not, you shouldn't, it's. That it? No pictures of your wife? I, I threw it away. Good on you, Mikey. I'm proud of you. Fuck that bitch. Am I right? Bet you and me could have some good-looking kids. What? You never know, baby. You did just bust a nut inside me, and I ain't fixed. <laughs> I could be your baby mama. Tosses his wallet aside. She searches his pants pockets. She finds his keys. If you're planning to rob my house, you're too late. My wife already took everything. Unless you want a 12-year-old fucking Honda. She tosses his keys aside. Mikey, Mikey, Mikey. I told you I ain't gonna rob you. You ain't worth my time. Small potatoes. Robbing you would be like some bush league bullshit. You think somebody like me gonna waste her time robbing some Joe Smo like you? Somebody, what do you mean somebody like you? I see, that part you got right. I steal shit. 
but I do. I don't work for Trump change. I go after bigger marks. Uh, good. I was ninety nine percent certain that you weren't no cop, but some fucking bitches go and get me thinking about the one percent. Fuck a cop? Me? I know, right? <laughs> and I love them bitches. These my girls. Your your business associates. Get your head in the game, Mikey. What game? You a real pea brain. <laughs> Everyone's gotta be something, I guess. Yeah, I'm a fly ass thief, and you a dumb ass mark, a chump, a punk, a nobody. You want me to slap you in the face? Yes, please. She slaps him and laughs. <laughs> I really like you, Mikey. You're really a thief? Uh-huh. And your friends are too? You're not a cop, are you? I, if I were a cop, you'd probably have to kill me, right? <laughs> I'm probably going to have to kill you no matter what. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, are you the boss? No, I'm the specialist. Technical shit. Polizena, the redhead, she's the boss. And and how about that one lady who looks like the head of the PTA? She, she doesn't look like a criminal. It helps if you're a criminal to not look like a criminal. Believe it or not, I clean up good. But 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 she looks she looks so. What about, what about her? I feel I feel like. Yeah. Like I know her. Or something, but that's. Oh, so you want to fuck her too? I mean, I don't know many criminals. You want right. to fuck her instead of me? Is that no. it, motherfucker? No. 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 Then why are you talking about her so much? I'm not. Focus, motherfucker. I got all the pussy you're ever gonna need. You want that polypyrrhine mayonnaise ass, huh, bitch? Do you? No. Tell me. I want you. You want this nasty? Thank ass cooch all up in your face. Yes, yes. Please don't hurt me. Fuck, Mikey. Y'all making me crazy up in here. Or maybe it's the crack. You want to know why you recognize her? No, no, no. I don't care. No. That bitch used to be famous and shit. More like infamous. Was on TV all the time. 10, 12 years. I don't know. Typical suburban soccer mom. Brutally murders her entire family. Lizzie Border shit. Did it with an act. Husband first, then the two kids. Two kids, too. Not like your little fellow demise baby. Wait. Wait, she was. Yep, that's her. Everybody knew she done it. Her face, 10 years younger, different hair color, plastered all over the magazine. But fuck Tars on the jury, come back not guilty. That shit funny as fuck to me. Total bloodbath scenario. And she walks free as a bird. Yeah, I think I remember that. Only now that she fucks she gonna do. Who's gonna hire her? Spend some time looking for teenage pussy fucking old rich pervert and icing when a big score comes along. Damn good thief too. So that's not her daughter. You're so cute, Mikey. Makes me sad I gotta kill you. A loud knock. Wait, are you? Fuck is that? Knock, knock, knock. Brooklyn looks out the peephole. Fuck you, mom. Open up. I ain't decent. Get decent quick. We gotta talk. Shit. I ain't even late. It ain't with time yet. Brooklyn? Not, not now, sweetie. I mean, were you, were you planning to kill me? I'm coming, damn. She opens the door. Enter Polyzina and Soccer Mom. Oh, Jesus. I don't even want to know. What do you want? We need to talk. Yeah, you said that. What? Soccer Mom sits on the bed and regards Mikey with disinterest. About shit. Cut the mark loose and let him get out of here. I ain't done with him yet. Hello. Hello, fuckboy. You're done when I say you're done. Oh, shit. Listen to you all serious. As a car crash. Fender bender or five car pile up? Depends on you. Uh, excuse me. Uh, 
Shut the fuck up. Oh, okay. All right. Brooklyn meanders towards her bag. Soccer mom grabs it first. Yo, bitch, don't touch my shit. Don't worry about that. Eyes over here. Talk to me. That shit got, that bitch got my. Brooklyn! Soccer mom goes through the bag. She finds Mikey's money first. Uh, that, that's mine. Soccer mom tosses the money in Mikey's face. Mm-hmm. Ha, Holly, listen. Soccer mom pulls a nine millimeter handgun from Brooklyn's bag. Jesus fuck! We good, soccer mom? Handcuff keys? We've known each other a long time. Yeah, we have. Handcuff keys. I ain't got no handcuff keys. What? What exactly was your play here? Mark wasn't walking out of here. I'm not this Mark. This room is connected to me. Mark was gonna get messy. I figured he could overdose. Wouldn't be the first up in here, right? Could even be a distraction for later. Soccer mom pulls a baggie of heroin and a hypodermic needle out of the bag. I could have pricked myself. It's a clean needle. So you're a junkie now too? Hell no. I don't work with no junkies. I ain't no junkie. I sell a little here, there. Let me see your arms. Brooklyn presents her bare arms for inspection. They're unmarked. There. Happy? No. What then? First, get rid of him. I was working on that. Now! I ain't got no keys. If you can't pick a lock, then you're more useless than shit on a stick. Look, he can't leave. Why not? I maybe told him shit. (laughs) What? It don't matter. I was getting rid of him, like you told me to do. I didn't mean- Fuck, Brooksy! Ooh, bad news, fuck boy. He's still calling me that. What were you thinking? Dead man tell no, no tales and shit. Plus he's easy to talk to, and that's rare. Plus I kinda like him. But you were gonna kill him. Trust me, this was a mercy killing all the way. This poor fool got nothing to live for. Yes, I do. No, sweetie, trust me, you don't. Okay, uh, uh, we're, we're tabling the discussion about what to do with the schmuck. To be continued. I don't like cliffhangers. Uh, shush, 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 shush. <laughs> we have business to discuss. So discuss. <clears throat> you know, I love you, Brooksy. You ain't got to romance me before you fuck me. I ain't that type of girl. You're out. I'm out. You get your shit together. We'll revisit in a few months, but for now. No, bullshit. Right now, this is a fender bender. You can't do this job without me. Job don't work without me. That's not your concern. So I'm out? Yes. But the job's still on. That's not your concern. The job's still on. Don't make this harder than it's got to be. If I'm out, who's in? That is not your concern. So it's jailbait. Uh, Katie is of legal age, FYI. Don't look it though, do she? And you like that? Uh, I like her intelligence, competence, and generally sane manner of conducting business. But them perky titties in that schoolgirl dress don't hurt. That is exactly the problem. Your inexorable tendency to sow discord. Who hurts? Oh, you don't get it. I get it. I get it just fine. You wanted to fuck your own daughter. And that's why you killed your whole family. That's some fucked up shit. Soccer mom points the gun at Oh, shit. Did I hit a nerve? You didn't want to fuck your kid. You did fuck your kid. Who found out? Hubby? Or did the kid threaten to squeal? Soccer mom, no. I did not kill my family. Fuck. Okay, I take it back. My bad. Apologize. Apologize? Apologize. What? I don't work for you no more. I ain't got to do shit. Okay, I'm sorry. That was going too far, even for me. I apologize. Soccer mom lowers the My gosh, Brooksy, you certainly do like to push my buttons. Why else you think my fly ass is single? 
I like people skills. Guess I gotta work on that shit. And the drugs, maybe? Yeah, yeah, I know. Go somewhere, dry out, get your act together. You're a damn good little thief. Come back a few months, a year. We'll reevaluate. You're right. I, look, I can offer you a separation fee for tonight for the legwork you've already put in. Say 5% out of my share, 10. 10%. That's mighty white of you. Okay. So that's it then. It's settled. Don't be sore, okay? Sore? I ain't sore. I'd hate to think you were harboring any ill feelings. I'm not. This is an important job. I know. You're getting a share without shouldering any of the risk. Keep that in mind. I get it, okay? I'm not gonna fuck with your job. Are among thieves. Sorry, it just popped in my head. Isn't he adorable? I hate his guts. Are we all good? I'm good. I'll catch a bus out of town. Y'all can pay me next time you see me. Yo, can I get my piece back? <laughs> Uh, no. Yeah, okay. I get it. Cool. She goes to the door. They let her. She stops. Soccer mom watches her. Do not go gently into that good night. Rage. Rage against the dawn of the light. I would be remiss. Go! Just go! They're gonna kill you! Don't y'all wanna know why I'm going so easy? Because she has a gun and you don't, maybe? Y'all word that this fool's a cop. You're missing what's right in front of your eyes. The job's fucked. It's been fucked. There ain't no job no more. You go ahead with me or without me. Y'all end up screwed in the ass. Don't stand there like I'm crazy. Jailbait, little Miss Pretty Pussy. She's the fucking cop. <laughs> Bullshit. Put your head instead of your clit. Katie is not a cop. Hey. It don't concern me. None. I'm out. But given our prior friendship, I would be remiss. Take it back. Put the gun down. Take it back. I take it back. Fuck do I know, right? She's not a fucking cop. Say it. Just lower it. Say it! She's not a cop. No way. I mean, when would she have gone to police academy? Right after preschool? Don't know what I was thinking. Losing my touch. Why don't you wipe that smile off your face? Why don't you make me, bitch? Paulina gets. Give me the gun, soccer mom. Let's be professional. Let's see what this bitch got. You're gonna shoot us both? Come on, you don't need two guns. Soccer mom hands Paulina the nine millimeter. Paulina tucks it away. Now you're still in my piece. Damn me for a fool not seeing this for myself. Katie is not a cop. Go ahead, lie to yourself. You're good at it. <laughs> Soccer mom draws her own gun. Oh, well, I guess if you're going to shoot her, then shoot her. I don't need to shoot anybody. I have myself under control. But does she? My shit is tight. Too bad you all can't see that. <sighs> no way Katie is a cop. Sh she's on the grift. We pulled numbers together. Cops overlook small shit to get at big shit. And you, my darling, you are the big shit. Cops looking hard at your ass, soccer mom. You're the grand prize, far as I'm concerned, walking in a triple 187. Oh, they got their eyes on you, baby. Soccer mom aims the gun at Brooklyn. I see that fire in your eyes. I know what it means, and I can't stop you. Brooklyn's are a tap to the head, God knows, but maybe. Maybe aim that rage and that gun another way. Brooklyn's a goddamn pain in my ass, but damned she isn't right. Your sweet 16 betrayed you. Let's the three of us march on over there and take her out. Give her what she deserves. I... Soccer mom lowers her gun just a bit. Brooklyn jumps the gun. They wrestle for it. The fight is brief and brutal. They end up on the bed. Bang. 
Brooklyn and Soccer Mom jump back, but Brooklyn comes away with the gun. Soccer Mom and Brooklyn quickly check themselves for bullet wounds. They're both fine. Mikey, you okay? Hey, 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 I think I shit myself. Lizina falls over dead. Her gun falls to the floor. Oh, snap! <laughs> Soccer mom goes to Polyzina. Don't even think about grabbing that nine. Step back. Brooklyn kicks the gun away. She's dead, Brooksy. Well, ain't that a motherfucker. Oh, no, 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 no. So am I next? Fuck. How this shit happen? Am I next? What, you gonna kill my ass? Tell the truth. Okay, yes, but, but listen, 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 please. I'll listen. You talk your way out of the death sentence once before. Must be good at it. Talk! What do you got to say to me? No, no. I, I'm not going to try and talk my way out of it. I know you've got to kill me. True. Can't have you walking around. So what is there left to listen to? Come on. Dance for me. Dance for your life. I know you can't spare my life. Ah. Chill. Use those tears on the jury, too. But Katie, please, I beg of you, don't hurt my Katie. You for real? She's my baby. She's a cop. I don't care if she is. Damn, you got it bad. Please. Aw, hell. You see this, Mikey? This some fairy tale true love shit I'm dealing with here. Brooklyn, if our friendship never meant anything to you, Meant the world to me, girl. Guess I ain't never expressed that properly. Go on, get the fuck out of here, quick. You know some snitch bit somewhere in this motherfucker called 4 report a gunshot. Get gone. Really? What's killing you, get me. Go to your girl. Maybe I'm wrong about her. Maybe you'll get your happily ever after, who knows? Uh, but what about the mark? I'll take care of him. Thank you, thank you. Exit soccer mom. Brooklyn locks the door behind her. Brooklyn points the gun at Mikey. You're so cute when you think you're gonna die. Fucking do it. You get brave all of a sudden. I can't take any more suspense. That's my Mikey. Ready? Close your eyes, sweetie. Oh, God. Nah, I'm just fooling. I'm gonna let you live. Surprise! Don't fucking play with me. Brooklyn kisses Mikey passionately. We ain't got time for you to eat my pussy. Sad to say. And that shit is gonna haunt your dreams forever. Wait, wait, wait. Are you, are you gonna let me go? No. Nah. Cops gonna come up here, find you like this, Polythena dead on the floor, drugs everywhere. Then you're gonna have a story to tell. A story? I don't even know what the fuck has happened. I'll make it easy for you. You tell the popos that soccer mom done this. Who did it? Soccer mom. You remember her, right? Cops got a ra raging heart on for her. You'll be a hero. And you leave me out of it. Get me? Uh, I, I can do that. One time to make sure you got it all down. Soccer mom killed the redhead, the, the, the lady who got away with killing her family. And I saw the whole thing. Good boy. Wait, wait, is, isn't her daughter a girl, girlfriend the fuck ever? Isn't she a cop? Made that shit up. I mean, maybe, but I, I doubt it. Katie's a crook just like us, trying to hone in on my actions. There's, those two are gonna ride off into the sunset. They're gonna have their happily ever after just like I promised. Only it won't last long. Cops will pick them up in an hour, a day, a week, matter of time. She's too hot to run free after, the, after you finger her. I'm gonna have to take your money though, sorry. I find myself unexpectedly unemployed. Brooklyn hastily gathers the money scattered on the bed. She tucks the gun into her waistband and heads for the door. Sirens sound in the distance. Wait. What? You, I was thinking, I, I, I was thinking and then you still have to kill me. Your plan doesn't work. You have to kill me too. Even if that were true, why the hell would you tell me? I'm not gonna stand up to questioning. I'll crack like an egg. Okay, 
And I'll tell them everything. I, w I won't want to, but I will, and you, you know this. I got to go. If I'm alive, you'll go to prison. You love me or something? Or are you just stupid? Both. Probably. You really think Brooklyn is my real name? Honest to whole name? Uh, uh. You one stupid, but so damn cute. I want to see you again. I have to see you again. Only in your dreams, Mikey. Only in your dreams. Exit Brooklyn. The sirens get closer. Mikey leans back. He smiles. Lights down. The end. Oh. That's a wonderful job, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh my God, my arm is numb. Are you okay, Mark? <laughs> <laughs> that that arm must be asleep. Oh, it it almost was. It was thinking about it. I'm like, no, don't do it. No, don't do it. <laughs> I'm just taking in the full effect of Soccer Mom's outfit, Gloria. It's hilarious. <laughs> Thank you. It's yes, so I adorable. Didn't, I didn't realize, but we all accidentally wound up matching our palette to this background. <laughs> <laughs>